It's the end of the day with Ray. Hello, my friends. Today, I want to address the response that Lexmark put on their website. They were responding to the Department of Homeland Security banning Nine Star. Lexmark calls them their investors. I call them Lexmark's owners because they have 62% of the equity in the company called Lexmark. But anyway, the Department of Homeland Security banned Nine Star and any of its subsidiaries for bringing products into the U.S. supply chain, and that ban was part of the Uyghur Forced Labor Prevention Act. Pretty serious problem for Lexmark. It's a crisis. It's a crisis for our industry. It's a wake-up call around geopolitics, especially regarding PRC companies, especially regarding the Communist Chinese Party. My friends, we just, we just saw the news where, where the Communist Chinese Party wants to put military training camps in Cuba. We, we better start paying attention to, to the broader scope of the Chinese Communist Party. The, the problems in the print industry relating to them is pretty minor to the fact that the Chinese Communist Party wants to put military training bases in Cuba 90 miles from the shores of Florida. Are you kidding me? Maybe Lexmark's gonna provide all the equipment to those military training bases. Maybe that's why Lexmark's being so cooperative with the PRC company called Nine Star and the Communist Chinese Party. The reason I'm saying so cooperative is because in the first two responses that Lexmark put out there, and those were the responses to the sales teams, hey dealers, remember, Nine Star is just our investor. Remember, we manufacture all kinds of stuff with other suppliers. We got all kinds of other suppliers beside Nine Star. They're just one of our suppliers. All the nonsense they said in those responses that I completely ripped to shreds on the end of the day with Ray because I thought it was pure trash. Ladies and gentlemen, this response is terrible. It's terrible. And so I have to believe that the Chinese Communist Party has control over a PRC company called Nine Star. And that PRC company has control over this, over this board that Lexmark keeps saying has autonomy to run the company. Because there's no way if this board that has autonomy to run Lexmark would ever have put this on their website as a response to this. They would have never done it because it's ridiculous. This is, this is propaganda coming from the Chinese Communist Party splattered all over the Lexmark website. Let me share with you what I mean. So I go to their website and I'm looking for the response. I don't see anything on the home page regarding the Department of Homeland Security banning Nine Star Lexmark's owners. I don't see any of that on there. What I see right now is they're advertising the goal line. A few episodes ago, I was suggesting that the goal line and the G&G &G printer could be the same machine. I'm asking Lexmark, are these the same machine? Because they look the same. You're using the same marketing strategy, talking about the steel frames. They look exactly alike. I mean, you just put one name on the other one, made it the same place. That was my, that was my question. Well, well, Lexmark's never answered those questions. They, they, they keep talking about how Nine Stars is one of their suppliers, but they never told us who the other suppliers are. They never addressed the fact that this goal line's not made in the same place as this G&G &G printer. And the reason I bring that up is because the G&G &G company's on the ban list, so I'd imagine the G&G &G printer's part of the ban. Could you imagine if the world finds out one day that during this big crisis that, that Lexmark was actually trying to figure out how to sell more products that are tainted with the sweat from slave labor on their website? I'm hoping that's not the case, but Lexmark has a lot of questions to answer. They're not answering. So ladies and gentlemen, I go to their news section because I think, well, maybe the, maybe the press release is in the news section. But again, I don't see anything about Department of Homeland Security banning Lexmark in any way, shape, or form. I don't see anything. Their latest statement says Lexmark issues statements on supply chain. Uh, why did they say Lexmark issues statement on DHS banning? I mean, remember, this, this is for the end users that use the products, not for the industry. This is where the end users are going. So I guess Lexmark's figuring if we call it supply chain, people are sick about supply chain. We use the supply chain, those two words, for a long time, like three years, and don't even pay attention to it. And then we can say we put something on our website. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I click on that link and I get this response. I'm going to read this to you because it's really, really disturbing. And, and Lexmark implicated themselves in something in this response. I believe they were so focused on trying to, you know, do a gaslight episode here that, that, that they actually implicated themselves on something. So the first thing I'm going to tell you is this. Lexmark, you should have just titled it this. Lexmark addresses Department of Homeland Security DHS banning its owners, Nine Star, and eight of its subsidiaries from bringing products into the U.S. supply chain as part of the Uyghur Forced Labor Prevention Act. That's what you should have said right up front in red letters. You didn't have to say Lexmark issues a statement on supply chain because that has nothing to do with the Uyghur thing. That's just one component of it. The real story is the banning by the Department of Homeland Security. And then, of course, when you get on this statement, let me read the first sentence to you. On June 9th, 2023, the U.S. Department of Homeland Security, DHS, announced actions to restrict goods produced by Nine Star Corp., one of Lexmark's many suppliers from entering the United States. Lexmark's not part of the order. Now, think about this. 
They don't say anything about the Uyghur Forced Labor Prevention Act. They say that they're restricted goods. I mean, the lay person reading this, they're thinking to themselves, oh, thankfully, Lexmark has other suppliers that Nine Star is only one of them. Now, if they would have said that Nine Star had a 62% equity ownership in Lexmark, then the reader would start thinking to themselves, boy, this is a pretty big deal. A company that's got a 62% equity position in the company is banned from the delivering product. I mean, then it would start opening up more questions, right? So let's not address it. Let's only tell them what they need to hear. Let's hide stuff. Lexmark, when you start hiding stuff and you're losing your transparency, you're also losing your integrity. And I've talked to you about that before. Lexmark has stopped shipments from Nine Star and its affected subsidiaries to the U.S. and will replace Nine Star as a supplier globally. This is a pretty powerful sentence because you just implicated yourself in something. You're telling the whole world that you stopped shipments from Nine Star and its affected subsidiaries. So you admitted that you were buying stuff from the affected subsidiaries. You were buying stuff from subsidiaries that are banned in the United States supply chain based on the Uyghur Forced Labor Prevention Act. That's what that says. Now, it also says you stop shipments once they told you to, but the problem is in some previous responses, you said you were totally in control of your supply chain. You knew everything that was going on in your supply chain. So something's a lie. I mean, you either just made that up in that other response. So if you made that up in the other response, what else did you make up? Because you can't be in tune with your total supply chain if you just admitted to the whole world that you stopped shipments from affected subsidiaries. Or, or this, you believe the Department of Homeland Security just maliciously went after Nine Star with no real evidence. It's one or the other, right? You should clarify what it is. But here's something more important. If you stop shipments from the affected subsidiaries, what are you doing with all the product you already got in? Are you burning it? Are you destroying it? What are you doing with it? Are you having sales on it? Because you know you got product that was produced by affected subsidiaries. Because you just said it. You stopped the shipments. So what are you doing with the inventory you have? Lexmark, this is serious shit. And your, 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 your gaslighting and your nonsense isn't helping you solve a really serious problem. And the problem now is really impacting your integrity because of your lack of transparency. As a global manufacturer that utilizes a multiple source strategy in regional manufacturing facilities, only a small portion of Lexmark manufacturing comes from Nine Star and its affected subsidiaries. Again, now you're saying you actually have manufactured products, so I'm thinking machines that have been put together by affected subsidiaries. Who are these affected subsidiaries that are putting these machines together? Is the G&G &G people making the goal line, for example? And if they are making the goal line, how many of those goal line machines are in inventory? You know, those are the machines you're selling on your website. You see why you got to be more forthright? You see why when people want to look and read between the lines and ask some questions that nobody else wants to ask? That's why you got to be really careful how you try to hide stuff. And I can say you tried to hide it because if you weren't trying to hide it, you would have put clearly on that website. You'd have put it on the homepage. Lexmark response to Department of Homeland Security. Banning of Nine Star. Read here. And there would have been all kinds of links involved. You would have been educating the end user because this again, this is for the end user. You would have been, you've been helping them understand how many places you manufacture that have nothing to do with the Nine Star subsidiaries. You would have shared with us all of the suppliers that you use that have nothing to do with Nine Star or any of its subsidiaries. You didn't do any of that. You didn't even bother to tell the community that Nine Star has a 62% equity in your company. What else are you hiding? Last sentence, Lexmark is committed to ensuring that all suppliers adhere to the highest standards of compliance, security, and social responsibility. We support international law standards and follow all applicable laws in the markets in which we operate. Here's the problem, Lexmark. Nine Star, a PRC company, isn't based in Lexington, Kentucky. It's based in Communist China. And the Communist Chinese Party, well, they're pretty well connected to all those PRC companies. I wouldn't be surprised if they don't have job fairs where they help these PRC companies understand how to use forced labor. Because in China, in the Communist Party, guess what? The Communist Chinese Party, they don't care about slave labor. They don't care about sterilization. They don't care about a lot of things that we care about. But when our independent boards on these American or free world companies 
that this PRC company called Nine Star bought propagate nonsense like this on the website, I'm thinking they took control of the company. They took control of the independence of that board because this is nonsense. This isn't taking any responsibility for anything. This quite honestly is hiding a lot of stuff. So again, I'm going to ask you, what else are you hiding? Ladies and gentlemen, we got to put some pressure on this company called Lexmark because it's not the good old boys from Kentucky that own that company. It's a PRC company called Nine Star. And we all know that PRC companies take their directions from the Communist Chinese Party. Let's put an end to this nightmare and force Lexmark to be up front. And if it means that we have to disembowel ourselves as the free world from a company called Lexmark, that's what it means. All those good people that work in the free world for Lexmark, they could find another job. But our industry has to put principle ahead of profit, and we need to start doing it now because this response is horrific. Folks, I don't know what else I can say, but I'm gonna be on this like a dog on a bone because everybody watching me knows this. Status quo is the killer of all that'll be invented. Don't get stuck in status quo and I'll see y'all.